<laughs> hey, I'm Sorel, and I'm an Aussie that lives in Iceland. Oh, much better. <laughs> These are the blueberries growing in my backyard right now. These are my favorite sunflower pants. And this is my camera. I'm always with my camera. This is my boyfriend. I decided to ask my boyfriend to review some music for me. Minus hearing any music. <laughs> Can I have my own rating system? It'll be out of five pierogies. You ready? Mm-hmm. There's no sound. I give that one zero pierogies out of five. What about this one? This one sounds exactly like the last one. <laughs> it also gets zero pierogies out of five. Are they supposed to be silent? Thank you. Your time is up. Wait. Is that a trick? Life is sad without music. Oh! The verdict? Music is important. Oh, oh that's heavy. You might have absolutely no idea who I am and why on earth am I on your screen right now? How dare I invade your space? <laughs> Let me introduce myself. My name is Sorella Moore. I'm a creator online. I have 1 million subscribers following me on YouTube, over 500,000 people on Instagram. I am a business person. I am an entrepreneur. I am an investor in gold, silver, as well as properties. I have traveled previously for two years of my life full time. I have spoken on big stages, but best of all, I have heard that my work is quite impactful and that is amazing to hear. I love sound, I love music, and in this video, we're specifically gonna be talking about the importance of music within your videos. My workflow, my exact workflow of how I get my videos being a work of art. <laughs> Firstly, let's talk about my editing. As you can probably tell, I get bored very easily and I love to be entertained visually as well with the storyline and sounds. My edits are fast paced and quirky because I know there are other people out there that get very bored very easily. Short attention span groups. High five, what's up? <laughs> visually, everything has to be beautiful for me. The storyline, I map out everything that I need to first before I start filming. When it comes to sounds, actually, interestingly enough, whatever is popular on YouTube, I almost try to do the polar opposite of that because I just don't like trends very much. Yeah. I'm one of those people. And because of that, my song choices are quite strange when it comes to my YouTube videos. It includes country, classical, funk, and reggae. The main aim with music choices, I think for everyone, is actually to instill some sort of feelings. Your favorite artists, they make you feel something. There's something about it that makes you feel connected, relatable, makes you feel sad, makes you feel elated. There's lots of different emotions that we can create using music. That's why it's so important. And if you get it wrong in your videos, the whole video is uh, screwed, more or less. But however, let's look at some of my examples from my previous work that I've done. In this video, I use this pretty funny country twang <laughs> to instill some humor and lightheartedness into the situation. It was quite a heavy time in the world when this was being released, so I wanted to uplift the viewer. In this video, my boyfriend and I were getting stuck in a very severe snowstorm at the time, and so I used this little bit sad violin music. It helped to escalate the situation. We were anticipating, and the anticipation was being built through this use of this music. It wasn't upbeat, it was like, I have no idea what's gonna happen. So how I edit using music. The very first thing that I do whenever I import the footage into my computer and I'm ready for editing is that I just cut away the best bits, obviously. I'm left with the gold and then the storyline can be created. And it's like a little puzzle piece for me. But in order to arrange the puzzle piece, I have to have the music first to help pace the edit because I don't know what it's gonna look like until the music is there. So I then start looking for certain different sounds that are available. Okay, so I'm here editing my footage of Iceland. Obviously, I want people to be fascinated by this country because it's amazing, it's perfect. Perfect. It's everything that you ever thought it would be and more. I look for appropriate music to instill this emotion in people and the way that I do that is either one or two ways. I either choose my music using the mood or the genre. So let's try my favorite genre first, classical. I mean this song is sexy. It works so perfectly in my mind. I can already see the storyline playing out. But then let's try for example the dreamy mood. Uh, no. How about... but I don't think it's quite as impactful as the other one. Now I can drop in the song into the timeline and start rearranging my favorite part. The insane, amazing thing that I'm just so thrilled to have access to as a creator is that Adobe Stock is now partnering with Epidemic Sound and their music is now available within the essential sound panel in Premiere Pro game changer because music is the very first thing that I turn to when I'm editing and it was such a pain in the behind to have to go to a, the browser, search for your song, click on it, download it, check if it's good, if it fits with the whole scenario of your video. No, okay, let me go find another song, download it, <laughs> import it into my timeline. I didn't like it. Now when I'm editing, I often zoom into the music to see where the major beat changes happen so that I can put necessary cuts in those places. However, also knowing that I want to break those rules sometimes because if you're always cutting on the beat, sometimes it's, it's 
so predictable and you want to make it a little bit unpredictable as well. You don't want the viewer to know exactly what's coming up. Skip one beat every now and again or put it in between beats, which throws people off, but sometimes it works really, really well. And slowly but surely, I come up with an edit that I am happy about. Make sure to check out the new audio feature in Adobe Stock and Premiere Pro and watch the other videos in this series, all links down below. Team, we did it. Team, all right, I'm a YouTuber. One person team, yeah.